what does Jesus demand of me and you concerning this abortion holocaust that's happening around us? It's as simple as Proverbs 24, 11. Your king commands, demands, in fact, that you rescue those being carried off to death. That's it. Rescue those being carried off to death. How do I do that? And the first way that you must rescue those being carried off to death is by rejecting the approval of murder. Even the abortion ban that happened in 2019 in Alabama, it said, in effect, it said, you can murder your child as long as it's under five weeks old. We reject anything that approves of murder, anything short of supporting total and immediate abolition is really coming in contradiction with Romans chapter one. Because in Romans one, the Apostle Paul is listing these vices that are typical of idolaters. And he says in Romans 1, 29 and verse 32, he says, idolaters are full of murder. And they not only do those things, but they also give approval to those who do. Anything short of total and immediate abolition is approving of murder. It says you can murder your baby here or there or at this time. The second way that we must rescue those being carried off to death is by demanding our governing authorities actually establish equal justice. So you actually are represented at the state level and at the federal level, but at the state level, you need to demand the magistrates who represent you to judge justly and to stop showing partiality to the wicked. What that means is you tell your governing authorities, abolish abortion immediately without exception or compromise. I'm your constituent, you represent me, God demands that you establish equal justice. That's why he's delegated authority to you. The third thing that you and I need to do to rescue those being carried off to death is reject any kind of medicines that murder babies. You need to do research and see which kind of medicines actually kill babies inside the womb. The fourth way that we must rescue those being carried off to death is by actually going to the abortion clinics, which are better called a murder mill. These places exist to murder children. They crush their skulls, they rip their limbs off, they rip their torso in two, and they scrape the remains out. If they don't dismember them in that way, they take a high-powered vacuum and put it inside the woman and they suck the baby out into a container. If they're early on enough in their pregnancy, they give them pills that in fact starve the baby to death in the womb, which leads to the baby then dying and then being discarded by the mother's body in the cycle. You and I must actually go to the abortion mills and stand in the gap and plead with the parents not to murder their children, offer them help, and preach the gospel of the kingdom of God to them and call them to turn from their sin and embrace Jesus, point them to the cross. Which brings me to the fifth thing that we must do. You must proclaim the horrors of abortion and then point everyone to Christ crucified. You must speak up on behalf of your neighbors. As Jesus has done for you in rescuing you from death, you must do for others. So whatever sphere of influence you've got, whether it's your family or just your friends, or if you're a pastor and you have a church that you lead, or if you are a business owner, whatever sphere of influence you have, however big, however small, you must proclaim the horrors of abortion. Point people to the reality, expose that darkness, and don't fear that you're just gonna bring condemnation on people. And I would just ask, is there any kind of weight you can bring to someone that the cross of the Lord Jesus can't remove? And you know the answer is no. His cross, what he's done in place of sinners, can deal with every single one of our sins, and sin in general. So reject the approval of murder, Demand your governing authorities establish equal justice. Reject murderous medicines. Go to the abortion mills and plead on behalf of your preborn neighbors and then proclaim the horrors of abortion and point everyone to Christ crucified.